You're watching the News Channel 15 Highlight Zone with Joe Whalen. Sports coverage you can count on with the Highlight Zone starts now. The busiest weekend in Indiana high school athletics begins with championships Saturday in Terre Haute, a city where the Canterbury girls have won and won often. The Cavaliers, winners of five of the last six 1A state titles, have made the transition to 2A look easy, but winning another championship wouldn't be. Canterbury taking on number one Heritage Christian. The Eagles 26 and 1 this season, their only loss to 3A number 14 Indianapolis Chittard. First quarter, Cavaliers trail when Mason Van Houten sits and hits for three of her five. Canterbury took an 11 9 lead after the first, but HC gets moving in the second. Tyasha Harris finds Sydney Hall in the wing. Eagles go up a point. Kendall Fincher counters 24 points and a state 2A record. 16 rebounds for the senior in this one, but Harris was her equal today. Steal and the score the other way. Canterbury was down 22 to 18 at the half. Third quarter time, Catherine Smith working the paint with the hook. Pulls the Cavs within four, but they would fall behind by nine points. Heading to the fourth quarter, that's when Fincher keys the comeback. You know the senior doesn't want to go out on a losing note. Just five of 19 from the field. But that's a big one. Cavs within six. Later, it's Dar Darby Maggard, three of her 20. Get used to it, friend. She's only a junior. Got one more year left at Canterbury. Later, it's Maggard going for three more. Knifing through the lane plus the foul. Canterbury pulls within two. But the Eagles ice it at the line. Cavs fall short 65-62. Randy Spieth continues our coverage from Terre Haute. Canterbury's run at a three-peat came up short here at the Holman Center, the same site where the Cavs won the last two 1A state championships. The team actually trailed by four to start the second half, but that's when they got a big spark from junior Catherine Smith. The center scored all of her 10 points in the second half today, but every run the Cavs made, the Eagles answered. The jump up to two-way, just a little too tough, as Canterbury comes up three points short. We just didn't get back on defense, and uh, we... We let them score. Basketball is a game of runs, and um, I thought we came back from that run really well. We battled back. Um, we just didn't have enough time. Talent-wise, um, the higher class and more talented and more competitive teams are. I liked it a lot, and I'm sure my team did too. Like We like to fight, and we don't just like to let teams to just lay down for us. Because we were in 2A this year, it just meant that we weren't defending the 1A state championship uh, that we won last year, but still. Uh, to be here is an honor and a privilege. It wasn't uh, anything that we were afraid of. It was something that we embraced. And Canterbury does lose four seniors, but the only to put up points today was senior Kendall Fincher. If the Cavs look to get back here to Terre Haute again next season, they'll once again have to do so in two-way. Reporting from the Holman Center, Randy Spieth, News Channel 15 Sports.